Maybe we can create a space, an opening, a crack into the soft parts of our hearts for words to take root and ideas to grow from weeds to trees that give instead of take. An opening between our back teeth, which have been held tight, clenching in our seeking. And maybe in that space, we can open up our hearts to the idea that it won't all make sense. That no amount of theology or wisdom or time or work can heal our grief, our shame, or our hurt. No amount of hope can undo suffering. And if we can do that, then maybe we can recognize that unraveling happens at home, behind closed doors, on pregnancy tests and in empty bottles, in sleepless nights and in worn out prayers, as well as in the streets, with hands up when God's people are unable to breathe. And maybe the truth can help us to be gentle with each other because unraveling happens to all of us. It's universal and irreversible. It's communal and personal. And so I pray for an opening. I pray that the spirit will blow into the caverns of our hearts, past the unraveled fragments of days that fell apart, past the realization that it won't all make sense, past the unraveling that we've all kept secret until the voids in our chests feel like the void at creation, blessed with God and light. And that prayer sounds something like this. Oh, great artist, in my clenched fist, rationalist heart that would rather argue and barter than have a fresh start, unlock the door. Throw open the curtains and create an opening in me. For I hold tight to unraveled things, wrapped up in anger, seeking understanding. So water worn soil and set this bird free. Create an opening in me. Amen. <laughs>